Daddy, it is the end of the day, Wednesday, December 8th, 2010. It's been my day off and I've had a pretty alright day, aside from the computer virus that's still sitting in the other room, pretty much a paperweight at this point. I was pretty bummed about it, but what do you do? What do you do? I wanted to get on here quick again to um, talk about a little bit about my uh, neighbor that came over this evening. <laughs> neighbor guy. He was just told a few weeks ago by his wife that she wants a divorce. And he is just torn up. 18 years of marriage, two kids. He's torn up. And uh, I feel I hurt in my heart for him. He's a good guy. And this is the um, this is the girlfriend of mine that well, our friendship has pretty much fizzled and it, it started to fizzle a month or better ago prior to me knowing anything of what was going on next door. Um, and apparently she's been a little upset because of um, the attention or, or whatever that we're giving to her husband. I don't quite understand that. Anyway, I'm not going to turn him away. The guy comes over and he's looking for someone to talk to and... Most of the time he was talking to my husband and I would let them talk. That's their mail time. Go talk. Have at it. But tonight he sat out here. Um, my husband was actually at the store and um, he sat out here with me and we chatted for a little bit. I should say he chatted. I just kind of sat and listened. I honestly, you guys, had no idea what to say. I couldn't find the right words because I'm not sure I knew what they were. <laughs> but I listened. I'm a very good listener. And I think I can be a very good friend too. To the right person, I suppose. Um, but I listened. And if I knew what to say, I said something. But, uh, I think he appreciated the fact that I listened, just having someone to talk to. Um, yeah. He's having a tough time. He is very torn up. He, he's been praying and is holding out for a miracle. And, uh, um, I, you know, I didn't know what to say to him. I have some of my opinions based on the friendship I had with her, but I did not share those opinions because that wouldn't be right. But they're going through a tough time, and so feel free to pray with me for them. Whatever is in God's plan, I imagine, is what will happen, and I don't know what that plan is. I just hope that whatever it is, their kids will be all right, and Bill will be all right, and even Diana. You know, the hardest thing to do sometimes is to pray for pray for those that are not so much your friends. You know what I mean? Like, for example, when my when my husband was really stupid five years ago and cheated on me. Well, I of course prayed for me. I sobbed all the time. I had no confidence then. I, fig I figured I would never be able to live without him. So I did pray for me. And I prayed for my husband too. But I also prayed for the other girl. And that had to be the most difficult thing ever. 
But I think you have to do that, Alan Patton. Because enemies, they need to find the way too, right? I'll tell you what, five years ago, that was one of the most difficult times I've ever been through. And uh, a lot of ups and downs in my faith over the years. I, I didn't grow up with religion at all. But I've come a long way in this last year. I'll tell you that. So pray with me, everyone. I love you. Bye.